Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. 3 for 3 put out a blog post going overview for this weekend and next weekend's uh, flight. So let's get into it. So look here, we have the uh, you know the scheduling. So tonight, preload goes live. Then tomorrow morning, public access opens at 12 p.m. Eastern or 9 a.m. Pacific time. Then the matchmaking matchmaking is available for uh, 1 p.m. to 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern or 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific time. Then it, then it opens up again, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time or 8 8 p.m. to midnight Eastern Eastern time. Then they go. It's the same schedule. Then at 10 a.m. on Monday, I believe, is when it clo flight access closes. Then it opens up again on the 30th in the evening. And then and it'll be second weekends for the big team battle stuff. So you know, same times. So you kind of get the idea. Then October 4th, flight will officially end for this one. Now let's get into the contents of this flight. First up, we have the goals. Infinite real estate might seem distant, but December arrived before you know it. I know that feeling. Over the course of two weekends, the game services at scale will be critical. So I'm thankful that so many of you will be able to join us. If you end up not registering the uh, Halo Insider time, don't worry, there's still a chance you can make it. Next week, they're expanding their audience to a few methods and can potentially allow insights to invite a friend so that they can push the service to the limit. More shout is always expansion next week. We're excited to host our largest fine audience to date, and we're eager to learn as much as we possibly can. As a thank you for helping test them, players who complete 10 matches during the second weekend will be granted a special album for this Barnes when the game launches in December. Overall, our goals for these weekends can be distilled to the following three areas. Testing the server, their services, Gather real-world data about PC hardware, collecting community feedback and reports. Uh, training, training mode. Uh, a new addition to the action first is training mode. In training mode, you'll load into a solo Spartan session against boss and random map of your choice to help you focus on what you like to improve. You customize fun options on the fly: mid-match bot difficulty, number of friendly enemy bots, weapons, grenades, equipment, reveal enemy location, play fighting, infinite ammo. Death list. Over the course of your training adventures, you'll be to choose from all arena maps available in the build as they arrive. So when Behemoth added a preview on Sunday, you'll be able to, be able to dive in. Nope. They have discovered a few items they still need to chase down for training. As a result, it may or may not be available for the flight. Rest assured, the team is working hard to try to bring this experience online as fast as possible. Next up, we have weapon drills. This, this house is often both more important than the what. Those who join us on the last one, you're likely familiar with the races for top scores with this S. S7 Sniper, all over Twitter, we're extremely excited to see more of you into the fright and bring, push those cars as high as they can go. Of course, you can take the time to learn new weapons at your disposal so you can come up with ideas just how you're going to put them to use. This time around, you have access to the following weapon drills. Assault Rifle, Battle Rifle, Sidekick, Bulldog, Kneeler, Commando, S7, Plasma Pistol, Pulse Carbine, Ravager, Heat Wave, Skewer, and Shock Rifle. Ah, so they took out the rocket launcher this time around. And I guess they replaced it with the shock rifle. Okay. Uh, here, here's what we'll be able to play in those set times. Friday, Slayer on Bazaar, Live Fire and Recharge. Saturday, Slayer on Bazaar, Live Fire and Recharge. Capture the Flock on Bazaar, Strongholds on Live Fire and Recharge. Sunday, Slayer on Bazaar, Behemoth, Live Fire and Recharge. Capture the Flock on Bazaar, Behemoth. Strongholds on Live Fire and Recharge. Remember, the new map, Be Behemoth with the vehicles, that one does not go to the live till Sunday. Keep that in mind. And so, week weekend two, weekend two, then, you know, the same time, so. Next up, Big Team Battle. For the very first time, right, we're thrilled to welcome players from outside through with these halls into the excitement of our new update 12v12 Big Team Battle. As note, as note, once more, BTB will only be available to the second weekend, October 1st, to talk to you'll be kept in the know when things go live. Be sure to read the schedule below and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. So if you're interested in throwing down one of the biggest backwards we cooked up, make sure to dive in the following days and times. Weekend 2. First day, capture the flag fragmentation. Second day, capture the flag capture the flag and total control on fragmentation. Total control is, is the new game type they've come up with. Sunday. Capture the flag and total control with the addition of Slayer on Sunday. So keep an eye out for those. Okay, that, that that's it. It was just a general overview of what we're gonna be playing. You know, these upcoming two weekends. So, so it was a quick video. I wanted to get, you know get out there, get this information to you guys. And so, 
And so this is Halo Gaming. Let me know what you think. Did you get in? If not, hopefully, you know, you can get in on the second weekend. Yeah. Say one of your friends and they, they can invite you. So I, ho I hope you all get in and I'll see you online. This is Halo Gaming signing out. Have a good one.